hey guys welcome back it's games so in today's video i'm going to show you how to create or how to attach a script to our archer after creating the arrow in the previous video this is the second part of the previous video so save and go to word 2 word 2 2d now in d course we are going to look for our archer click on it open it so we are going to add some stuff add a child nodes in area we are going to add a bunch of them attack zone i'm just going to enumerate them because i'm doing things every very very fast so first of all you attack we create an attack zone we create a another area 2d that we are going to call up right up left up down down right down left we're going to create left and right we are going to create left and right so all these basic things is to detect in which direction the enemy entered for us to shoot as you can remember in the previous video we already predefined normalized direction where our enemy was supposed our archer was supposed to shoot so we are going to resize and design this if i'm doing this very quickly is for me to don't waste my time creating all of these things so guys if you think it's too fast just slow the video there is an option for that or we can just pause the video and try to copy exactly what i'm doing move uh, everything according to the angles me i'm doing very quickly all of this all right move this and rotate the so i'm going to add a child node to each of those areas i'm going to add a marker to them for all of them the marker 2D is the repair for me for where to instantiate the error from where the error is going to appear. So yeah, I'm going to rename them also. I'm going to rename uh, every marker according to which area it is in. So marker down, marker right, according to which exactly it is a child of. It takes a lot of time to write all of these things. You can pause the video and do as I'm doing. All right, after that, uh, we are going to attach a script. This is the main part of the video, I can say. So, easy peasy for us. So just drag and drop an imp and before you left, just press control. As you can already see, we create animation down, downside, idle, run, side, upside, and easy. So, drag and drop. We are going to separate this, so up, left, right, down, down, left, down, right, drag and drop. Nice. Now, I need also to create markers. I need to create their references, so just drag and drop for, from each marker. I'm not going to use them directly now on because i'm doing things really fast for you guys for you to catch up exactly where i am with the game i'm going to implement all these things very later on on the game now that i've created this i'm going to look for my arrow and i'm going to put it here i need this arrow drag and drop it down here all right go back to the script we're just going to take also the reference for the error. After that, downy, let's create a state, state variables, of course. Variable state is equal to zero for idle. Save and we go back there. On attack, we are going to attach script, body entries the attack zone body exits the attack zone 
So on body if body dot name dot begins with is a new functionality that I discover on Godot. So basically instead of checking for only for one goblin name, we are going to check if the name starts with goblin. So if the name starts with goblin TNT, goblin barrel, goblin, goblin, whatever, it's just going to check the first part of the name, either it's goblin barrel one, barrel two, barrel three. So if it's goblin torch, goblin TNT, goblin barrel, copy this, and the state is equal to one. That means I enter the attack, the attack zone. So E uh, only have two states. Is the state zero and state one? State zero idle, states one uh, depend on which animation. So I'm just going to call it attack states, but different types of animations. Let's create another function. So this function is a predefined, is the function physics. In the physics process function, I'm going to change the animation, change in animation, change in animations or whatever. If the state is equal to zero, dot um, our anim anim dot animation is equal to idle all right S save the game if you want to or whatever you're doing now down here we are going to check the direction or detect the directions according to which area is entered and we can also shoot from there so before we do that let's go back here and we are going to create other variables we are going to call it enemy check to check the enemy var goblin underscore false so basically we are going to create uh, types of vari boole boolean variables we are going to check which enemy entered and according if he entered is equal to true if he exited is equal to false so we create three of them since we have three enemies then let's create um, a timer for attacking or for shooting the arrows we need a timer for that so the shoots timer okay shoots interval first is a float is equal to 0 0.5 shoots just copy that line shoots interval is equal to shoots timer is equal to 0 I don't want my uh, my archer to shoot every single second I need a respawn time then I need also a variable called goblets in range to check if the goblins are in range, now we can start our system of shooting after a few seconds or shooting by delay. Now let's create another variable. We're going to call it for new direction is the vector two. For now is equal to zero. Now here we are going to add in these conditions. Goblin is equal to true. Copy this line. We are going to copy this to end, goblin is equal to true. We need both of them, actually. Copy and paste. Then we are just going to change here the goblin torch by goblin TNT. And for the last one, two, goblin barrel. now copy this again then we go there we are going to re change it by false here also false when exited copy this and pass it down here we change false and false We copy, past and change basically there. 
I don't know if you guys who already have knowledge about coding like this, but for me, my line of codes are usually very long. You need to think a lot. So let's go back to the physics process data. Now we need to start our timer every time the enemy entered. So if goblin in range is equal to true or goblin in range. So if a goblin is in the range, now the shoots timer minus equal delta. That's meaning we are going to reduce by millisecond every time the goblin is in the range. Now, if our shoots timer is equal to zero, that means we can shoot actually. Shoot timer is equal to shoot interval. So we reinitialize. That means we start over. Our shoot timer will be equal to shoot interval 0 0.5. Let's close all of these. Close all of them. All right. Now we are going to attach signals. Let's start with up upright and let's attach for all of this i'm going to do this very quickly once they are attached we're just going to add another condition if body dot name dot begins with goblin underscore or copy this line or copy again this and past add the semicolons now we are going to check for the three goblins if goblins start with barrel tnt and torch and torch here is torch so now we need our anim dot animation is equal to up and new direction is equal to vector to zero minus minus one zero and minus one it those are the coordinate for for up or for the north or whatever how you named it so we we are going to copy this copy reduce now let's pass it for the others we need to remove this more mistake right here all right this is the up direction now we are going to check change this animation by up as you can see is upside for shooting up but on the side then we are just going to do this very quickly just watch the video pause the video and if there is any issue, just comment down below. I would be very happy to help you to solve your issue. All right. Just copy, pass, copy and pass and change the animation name. Perfect. Now we are going to change the coordinates. I need to change all these coordinates, so I'm just going to copy them from the arrow script that we created in the previous video. They just come here, copy and go back there and we passed. Copy and paste make sure exactly what you're copying is the exact things that you need 
Don't forget to copy the normalized part, so I have to write it down again. So go back to arrow, for down, right, copy, and paste. I'm going to do this very quickly now. Copy and paste, copy and paste, and copy and paste. Copy and paste again. Up to the last one. And past. We now we going down here. We're going to create the function, the function for shooting. Now create the function shoot variable new underscore direction is equal to new direction var error. We are going to do the same things to instant how to instantiate how to shoot how to make an appearance how to exactly the system of shooting the arrow how the arrow is going to be shot so basically we just do as we did for the arrow as we did for the explosion in the goblin barrel video if you remember i think it's the part 11 or part 10 if i remember exactly in which video it is now as i, ex I was explaining in the previous video this is how to attach how to call this direction in the other script is by using that line of code we are going to attach a new child timer for every every time the timer reached a time up that's 0 0.5 second we are going to reinitialize our state to zero that means it's going to play the idle animation now we are going to call the, sh the function shoot every time the timer timeout is equal to zero now we launch the game as you can see we already we can already play well but the it's too big so let's go back to the world too we need to reduce the size of our error first let's add some more arches reduce the scale change the ordering to 3 change the ordering to 3 and duplicates by control D and move them in characters as child nodes of characters now by my pet looked we are going to move them I'm going to move them on the ground for now on just to show you now if I launch my game If I launch my game, as you can see, the arrows are huge. They are very big. Doesn't even look like they're moving. It's really awkward. But... And the arrow appear and disappear behind the archer. I don't like that effect, so... I think so. Let's go to arrow scene. We are going to reduce the scale first by 0 0.5. Now go to its scripts we are going to check we are going to do some things very basic copy this and save and what exactly i'm supposed to do so what i want to do is to destroy after a few milliseconds my arrow when it comes in contact with the archer even if there is the archer i want the arrow to be destroyed so i'm going to call the function destroy so if the name begin with archer now launch the game all right as you can see it's very basic but it's better than it's working so guys i hope you reached the end of the video don't forget to like comment subscribe and please don't forget to share with your friends see you very soon for the next video